progressive breakup because it usually leaves a couple of reds to attack from. So therefore, it's not one advised for a top class play. Now the top professional breakup, which I'll set up for now, is where we move the white nearer to the brown ball, strike the second of the outside of the reds, a little bit of right hand side, taking the white onto the back cush, onto the side cushion, and then bringing the white through the gap here onto the ball cushion, uh, side cushion rather than the ball cushion, and leaving the white hopefully down behind the green. Just do that. A little bit of right hand side. Well, it looks a good break off, Gary. Yes. In fact, yeah. it's absolutely spot on. We've got an awful trouble here. We snuck it right behind the green. Now, that looks a super break off, but really speaking, I'm a bit lucky because yeah. I wanted to put the, the white ball down here. Because had the white gone anywhere here, here, then you could attack me. Uh, but unfortunately, it's gone. So you've got to defend now. That's a very difficult shot, eh? Hmm? What have you got in mind for this one? Mm -hmm. Hmm? What do you reckon? Hmm? Mm -hmm. What are you Tend thinking about? Come off these two cushions. Yes. What are you going to Past the blue and try rolling to the red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or come by here with a bit of run inside. There. There. Onto that cushion and go in there. Mm. Hmm? Have we tried that one before? No? Mm -hmm. Do you want to try it? Just a little bit of running side, just a lot, not a lot, but hard. Maybe too much. Oh. Hmm? Mm -hmm. It was a bit too much size, methinks. Mind you, but you left me a nice ball on the other, haven't you, really? Hmm? Well, this is where we're going to go right through the ball to bring the white back. This side for the black into the same pocket. Much easier doing it that way. Now we can pop the black for the red on the side. Mm. Leave just for this red back into the same pocket. Take the white off two cushions, the back cushions and the side cushion. Coming off the side cushion now. Always thought of keeping the white into the bed of the table. A little red that'll go there, or one in the middle. Yes, got a choice of two here. A little stun shot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now I'm going to pot this red and really open these balls out now. So as we can possibly make a nice size break. Well, I've opened them out okay, but look where the white's gone. Hmm? What's it doing down here? Still, the yellow may sneak past that red into the middle pocket. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, he's gone in there, lovely. Hmm? That was a beauty. Leaves me a nice shot now, doesn't it, to get on the black? Mm -hmm. Onto the back cush. Come off the back cush, onto the black. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I stun the black in. White onto the back of it and bring it across here for this red. Do the same pocket. Should be a nice shot. Nice and forceful shot. White coming back over here. Now then, I think I'll have to use the rest or maybe the half butts for this one. I think I'll have to have the half butts. Okay. The long tackle. Is the name for the other ones? This is the half butt. Just nicely roll it in the pocket, nice and thin. Leave this nicely on the back. Hmm. Put those back there. Now then, what have we got here? Hmm? Let's see. Well, we'll have to take the white all the way down here now for this right here. Because none of these will go at this moment of time. So, okay, we'll just take, pot the black and take the white down there. At 
least it leaves us the red, doesn't it? Hmm? That's it. Now we just off straight to stun it and run it through. Oh, missed it. Mine has come out pretty safe. I think you'll have to defend against this. Hmm? Yes. That was a poor shot I played that. <coughs> so you'll have to defend against it. Yes, nicely done. Oh, smashing. Lovely shot. Oh, very, very nice. He's snooking me behind the yellow. I thought this was a friendly game. <laughs> That's a lovely shot, isn't it, really? Hmm? My goodness. Well, I'll have to just sneak in between those reds up there. Just sort of lie in there, I think. And I hope it'll go safe. No, it hasn't gone safe. Oh, I've left you on nicely. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. Nice little stun shot onto the black. What have we got after this one, Gary? Hmm? I'm going to stun it back your size for this red, mm. back in here. Could probably three for this red there. With a bit where? Of where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? He won't go. He won't go, mm. in He won't go. <laughs> no, I'll stun him, stun off the black onto the cushion back up there for this one, back over here. Nice and nicely done. Yes. Hmm. It's a little bit too much stun. Hmm. A little bit too much. But it's still all right. No. Hmm. Now then, hmm? Wasn't thinking much about position that time, eh? <laughs> well, we just put in the black hole, hoping it would come through for the pink. What were you thinking then? We just thought it might run through. So, uh, yeah? over there for the black. Mm -hmm. so just have to defend. Okay, okay. Defending again, all right. Down on the bottom, push I go again. Hey, hmm? okay. my word. I see. Oh, if only I could get out that one up there, I can't get at it. Hmm? Just can't get at it. It's all right, I don't. Hmm? You see, there's a, there's a plant on there. Those two reds up in the corner. I mean, there's about two inches gap in between them, but if I hit this one there, it'll hit that one and take it straight into the pocket. But unfortunately, you snook at me on those two. <laughs> so I'm going to try to... To swerve around and do it. Hmm? See if I can catch him right. Lifting the back of the keel right up now to do the swerve shot. No, I hit him but not full enough. See how the keel ball goes right round the brown? Mm. Now then, what have I done though? I'm in all sorts of trouble here. Hmm? Hmm? It'd be nice if we could pot one of these reds and get after that pink. Hmm? And then play better, but develop in position from there, you see. If you pot that red, come down here. You can control it better then. So take your time and get the red in. Yeah, nicely. Now you can put your white more or less anywhere you like, can't you, really? Hmm? Hmm, what do you think? In a plain ball, off the pink down here, onto the bottom cushion. Bring your white back down here? Yes. Because there's a one red there and there's another one there. Hmm? What do you think? Yeah? Yes. Oh, absolutely spot on. Smashing. Smashing. Yes, lovely. Just got that one red on the top side there. Very nice. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Oh, you're going to play black? Yeah. Hmm? Mm. Yeah, got to be play black. Ball, try and get the okay. red. Yeah, concentrate on the pot, that's it. Yeah, smashing shot. Beautiful. Nicely done. 
Perfect. Nice position as well. Now then, what have we got here? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Stop to use it to get on the block here. Well, you, of course, you've got a difficult bridge here, haven't you? Because these two balls are in the way, so you're up on your fingers. So what, you're just going to roll him through nice and steady? Mm. Well, you could stun yeah. off there, up to there, yeah. for the pink, and yeah, which would be a better shot, really. Yeah, yeah still for do you the think? pink. Yeah? Yeah. Concentrate, make sure the pot then, because huh? it's a bit awkward there. Yes, lovely. Oh, it's gone a bit awkward. Wanted a little bit more screw on the ball, didn't it? So, mm -hmm. what are you going to play? You can't play the pink. So it's either, well, black. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. Black. Yeah. Nicely done. Too thin. Yeah. Just a little bit too thin. But a very nice break, that. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. All position of play. All control of the cue ball. Well, I'm going to play for the black. Mm. Leaving myself nicely on the black. Mm. Now, what am I going to have after this, I wonder? Nothing, nothing will come this way. Mm. So I'll have to screw it back out for this one, won't I, really? Mm. That's it. I'm trying to come off the back cushion for that. Yes, that's better. That's as good as anything, isn't it? Mm. I can either play a long shot or I'll play it in the middle, I think. Just roll it gently in the middle, it'll be nice. Mm. I think that'll be nice, just roll it in. There we are. Nice and steady. Mm. I thought perhaps I may have cut, caught the pink a little bit thicker and pushed it up a bit higher. But it's not too bad, it's all right there. Mm. That's not so bad. Now these two balls will go over there. Uh, and they'll also go this way now, you see, so it's opened up uh, a lot of little avenues now. I'll play for one of them in the middle pocket. Play a nice thin pink. To bring the white back over here. Mm, I've admitted too hard. Anyway, we'll still play it. I'm going to play a thin cut on this front red into the middle pocket. Let's see how we do that. Nice thin cut, not too hard. Well, it's on its way. Oh, just fell in. Just nicely done, wasn't it, really? Hmm? But very poor position. Awful trouble on the position side. What do I do now? Well, I'm going to play to pop the pink into the yellow pocket. Very difficult shot because, as you can see, a difficult bridge, the white's right in front of the black. So I've got to get right up on my fingertips. Difficult to sight the ball. So let's see what we can do with it now. Not a lot. Hmm? Oh dear, I've set you in again. Hmm? Mind you, it was a very difficult shot. Right then, there you are. Looks good. Yes, nicely done. You like this black, eh? Well, this is where all the breaks are made, round the black. Now then, what about this one, hmm? I've got to try and get off that cushion and behind it for this yeah. pocket. What about the pot in the black and screwing down to here, to here, and coming through the yellow and brown up onto that red, hmm? What about that one? Oh, I'm lucky. Let's see where the white's going. Look at that, you see? Yeah. Hmm? It's a nice shot to play though, isn't yeah. it, eh? Hmm? Well, I've seen you doing that a few times, yeah. eh? Look at this awkward shot you've got me again. I can't do much with this. Now I'm going to defend. I'm defending against that. I'm going to try to get as little snooker if I can. If I can get a... Oh, no, it kissed the brown. Otherwise, I'd have had you nicely snooker there, eh? Still, I've left you with a possible chance. Oh, good shot. Very close indeed. Okay. What about trying a long double? It'll be a cheeky one. Hmm? Try a long double in you, because the pink's near here. With a bit of luck, it could come down and hit that and go in there. Hmm? It'll come past the black, you see. I'm going to try that out. Try a bit... Uh, not a shot for a championship, really, but uh, mm -hmm. worth experimenting with. Let's try it out. 
Oh, I caught the black. Hmm? But it was worth trying. Mm, worth experimenting. That's the only way to learn in this game is to attempt things, experiment, and if it works, memorize it and record it for future. Not hard enough for the snooker. Hmm? Left me a little cut in the middle pocket. Just cut it in the middle pocket. Nice and easy. Well, I could pot the pink, but of course that wouldn't do me much good because I wouldn't be able to get on the yellow. So I'll pot the yellow in the middle, taking the white onto the top cushion, a little bit of right hand side onto the side cushion, and then it'll bring it down here nicely on the yellow ball. A bit of right hand side, which is running side in this case. There's the running side, bringing the white right way down here now for the yellow into the green pocket. Hmm? That's nice, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, I rather like that. Hmm? Now, of course, we can play a nice little screw shot off the yellow up between the green and brown onto the green itself. Nice and low down, nice and sharp. No, not deep enough. Still. Main thing is, pot the ball, you're still in play. Now let's see what we can do with this. Nearly straight. I'll punch the white and green ball into the corner pocket. Yes, that will bounce the white over nicely for the for the brown. Hmm? Right then, let's see now. I think I'll play the stun shot on the brown to bring the white up on the blue. No, I missed it. But that was this, hmm? Leave you a reasonable chance, but uh, got to bring the rest into play. I see you use the rest the correct way, by in flat ways. Yes, perfect. Lovely shot. We may need him again, I think. Hmm? Just a little bit stronger, and he's been perfectly on the blue. Difficult shot, this. Have a go at him, try and pot him. Mm, difficult shot, eh? Hmm? Never mind, you got me in trouble, I see. Awkward shot for me. My word. What am I going to do with this? Play it slow and see what happens here. Yes, that's safe enough. That's safe enough. Unless you play a double, of course. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? You going to try a double and screw back? Yeah. You try a double into the middle pocket. Yeah. Right, the blue onto the cush into here. Yeah. All right, worth trying. Right lines, worth trying. Because they're all difficult shots, these doubles. A bit unreliable. Okay, and play a cut into the top pocket. Oh, that's a thin one. Hmm? Now then. Do you reckon you can screw off the blue down? Try and get this black off if you can, because the pink's nicely on the pocket. Be a good shot if you can get a can into the black. Oh, lovely shot. And oh, very unlucky. Because if you'd move the black off, you see, they put the black out here and you'd have the pink and then back on the black. Well, the thing to do, I suppose, is to play for a double on the black, eh? Yes. Double into the other centre pocket. Oh, I don't know. I don't think you can do it from there. Hmm? No, I don't think you can do it from there. Hmm? Mm. You wanted to be up here, didn't you, really? To do the double that way. Okay. What are you going to do? Defend. Defend. Play safety yeah. shots? Yeah. Difficult safety shots. Not easy to play one of that. Yes, that, that's very good. No, that's very good. That's as good as any. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to play a safety shot. I'm going to play. Try to do a double in here. Try to do. I tried one before. Let's try it again. Mm -hmm. Up there, back down here, anywhere. Mm -hmm. Calling all pockets, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now then, what about this one? 
Hmm? Cross double? Mm. Okay, I'll go for the... Go on, then, whichever, yeah, whatever you fancy. Great shot, Carrie. Very well played. And what a safer way to finish the game. Congratulations, well done. Well, during that frame, we saw where we attempted to make a plant, whereby I swerved the white ball around the, the brown ball, but failed to make the plant, of course. But I'm just going to demonstrate what I mean by a plant. It's where the two balls are, are just apart from each other, and you can make a situation where you can set the, white, the yellow ball into the blue ball to pot it into the center pocket. So therefore, you get your lineup on the yellow ball to pot the blue, as if he's using the yellow ball as a cue ball, like so. And you say, well, right, that, that's the point of contact. Go back to the cue ball and strike the point of contact, and you should be able to pot the blue ball in the center pocket. Now, that is a plant. Now, of course, we use a plant in, in a trick shot of ours, and Gary is going to demonstrate that for us. The trick shot is called a snake shot, which is a series of plants. All the balls, as you can see, are set slightly apart, and they just go -ta 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 -ta, one into the other, and put the end ball, the black ball, into the corner pocket. Nice and strong shot, this, Gary. Good. Give it a good hard whack. Well done. Very, very nicely done. Super shot. Now, that is a, a plant shot. Of course, a set in snooker, which is very similar to a plant, the only difference is with the set is that the two balls are touching one another and in a perfect straight line as these two reds are now towards the center pocket. And if the white ball was saying, I'll move it here to leave an angle for it, then to make the plant or the set itself, you line it up, you see it straight into the pocket, and therefore you play the shot as if you're going to pot the back red rather than the leading one. And if you do that, it's a nice sort of quarter ball shot, then the leading ball should naturally go into the pocket. There we are, nice and straightforward. Now another trick shot which involves a set is the disappearing shot. And I see young Gary is waiting here anxiously to play this one. The red and black are touching one another, as you can see. And Gary's going to go in off the red into the far corner pocket. The red itself is going to go into the opposite corner pocket. And the black is going to follow the cue ball into the first corner pocket. Well, there you are, Gary. Try that one. Not too hard, but not just nice now. That's the way. Oh, perfect. Very nicely done indeed. Well done. Thank you. In the frame of snooker, we saw some doubles being attempted. Well, now I'm going to show you what I mean by a double. Finding yourself in a situation like this, and of course assuming that the red, as it is now, couldn't be potted in the center pocket, there was a ball obstructing that path, then you'd have to strike the red onto the cushion and double it back across the table into the center pocket. That is called a double. Coming back across and nicely going into the center pocket. Now also in the trick shot field, we have a speciality shot which includes and involves a double, very complicated shot indeed, where we're going to try and pot three red balls in one shot. As you can see, it's a very complicated situation. This is where I'm going to strike the black ball for the red inside to be doubled across the table into the center pocket. The black itself is going to come up the cushion to take the top red here. The cue ball off the black onto the far side cushion, back cushion, side cushion, and to take the red ball over across on the yellow pocket. Very complicated, complex shot indeed. A little bit of side involved in this. Super shot, excellent. Another of my favorite shots is the famous bottle shot. We've heard a lot mentioned about the old favorite bottle shot. Just remove that ball. Take that white off the table for me, Gary, please. Thank you. And of course, this is where we have a line of balls, as we've got here now. Put in the bottle right at the back of the line of balls. 
and striking the white over the red straight into the wicker bottle. We're just going to use a piece of cloth just to safeguard the existing one because it does burn the cloth. And now we strike the white right up in the air into the bottle. Very nice indeed. Now that's putting it in. Now we've got to get it out. Thank you, Gary. Well, we know that the white ball's inside. All we have to do now is to send in a red ball to bring the white back out again. Sounds quite simple. There she is. What a nice shot. Mm -hmm. And there's the red coming out of the bottle. Very nice shot indeed. Of course, over the years, the most requested trick shot of all would be the machine gun shot, where we line up all the colors, the red, the yellow, the green, the brown, the blue, the pink, and black, all along the bulk line, like so. As I'm going now, just a little distance apart so as one can go past the other. This is where we strike the white into the opposite pocket and before the white ball drops to pocket all the colored balls in the same pocket. In other words, we strike the white first and the white goes in last. Very complicated, very difficult shot. There we go. <laughs> well done, Gary. Thank you very much. Well, uh, just a few of our specialty and trick shots. And, and, of course, we've now seen how to play, uh, how to play the game and know all about it. And, of course, as we said earlier on, the most important thing of all, enjoy playing your game of snooker.